They sit at the top of the food chain. Because with their tremendous power, superior leaping ability, and extraordinary teamwork, lions aren't afraid to take on anything. The lion, king of the beasts. It's mid-September in East Africa. The dry season. These 12 adult lions and six cubs live together in a pride. An extended family that stays and hunts together for life. This season is particularly hot and dry. And much of the lion's prey is beginning to migrate to greener pastures. Which means fewer hunting opportunities. Each lion needs over five kilograms of meat a day. About 8,000 calories. And with fewer chances at a meal, this pride can't afford a botched hunt. But taking down an animal five times their size is not going to be easy. The buffalo present challenges. They're hyper alert to danger. Sleeping only an hour a night. Rarely more than a couple minutes at a time. A buffalo's sharp horns can span one meter. And they can easily kill a lion. Buffalo protect their own. Smaller and weaker members stay in the middle of the herd, with mostly males forming a protective ring around the perimeter. So in order to succeed against buffalo or other prey, a lion needs to employ teamwork and strategy. A lioness can catch a buffalo, but they can't bring it down by themselves. On the other side, a lioness could certainly eat a gazelle, but it can't catch a gazelle. It's not fast enough. So he's got this really tough. You need friends. You need friends. If these lions are going to share a meal of buffalo, each of them has to play its position well. Some are faster. They're able to run down the animal quicker. Some have the power and they're a better animal for grabbing the muzzle of an animal or taking them down. Certain lions will find that they're more apt for doing certain challenges. begins when two flushers charge the herd, forcing it into a panicked run. Then one of the pride's two strikers assesses the situation. She scans the herd, deciding which animal to target. She's looking for weaknesses, singling out the young or sick buffalo, or one that strayed from the herd. In a matter of seconds, she's found the target. A buffalo cow with one broken horn. Any fight serious enough to break something as durable as a horn probably did more serious damage to this buffalo. 
The average lioness can reach a top speed of 54 kilometers per hour. But the strikers, the fastest and most agile lions in the pride, can reach speeds of over 60 kilometers per hour. One striker races past one of the flushers and launches into an attack. She does this with incredibly engineered claws. Each paw has four sharp forward-facing claws and a backward-facing dew claw, each sitting in its own ball and socket joint, independently suspended. So as the buffalo tries to buck the lioness, she's able to continually adjust her hold. And that's no easy task. This lioness is being dragged with an unbelievable three Gs of force. It's like the claws on each paw are trying to hold on to a rocket just after launch. Soon, reinforcements arrive. Two more lions jump on the buffalo's back and use their combined weight to try to bring it down. The 770 kilogram buffalo is now carrying three lions, weighing more than 400 kilograms. One lioness digs in with her massive canines, while another covers the buffalo's nose and mouth with her own mouth. Within 15 seconds, the buffalo experiences the onset of oxygen deprivation. He panics. This incites a spike in heart rate and rapid body movement, which rather than conserving what little oxygen he has left, eats it up. The buffalo starts to lose consciousness. His muscles relax. Finally, it's over. But after all that hard work, the star huntress may not even get to eat. That is until the reigning male lets her. He'll eat almost 20 kilograms of buffalo before the females get a bite. The male is predominantly the king, as it were, the head honcho, the big cheese. Prides typically have two or three males, but this pride has only one. He protects the pride. He sires the cubs. And he patrols their territory, ensuring that no other lions encroach. He doesn't participate in the hunt as much as the females do, although he's the first to eat. That's good to be king. It was a particularly good kill. The 450 kilograms of meat will net the pride 700,000 calories enough to sustain them for nearly a week. The pride eats. This roar from afar is a sound that spells trouble. The kind of trouble that could change this pride forever. An intruder is approaching. But he's not interested in stealing their buffalo carcass. He's come to challenge the resident male and take over the pride.
It's been a couple of years since the resident male was himself the challenger. Like most males, his mane started to grow, and he reached sexual maturity at the age of two. He was then thrown out of the pride he was born into. This serves an evolutionary purpose. Since he's related to all the females in his pride, he must leave in order to mate. But as a teenager, he wasn't strong enough to depose a resident male. So he roamed for more than a year, waiting for his moment to take over a pride. Two years ago, he did. Now, from the sound of the distant roar, the shoe